Hey everyone, and welcome back to Coins Alert, where you can get your crypto fix. Hi, my name is Ripple Van Winkle, and I hope everyone is having a great weekend so far. Today is May 4th, and tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. I hope or wish that Cinco de Mayo was today. Cinco de Mayo should always be on a Saturday because it gives you an extra date or two. Tacos are great, right? Martinis are great, don't you think? Tonight, though, it's a hockey playoff game and game two. Listen, they came back after being down 3 1 in the first round and won. Now we move on to the second round. They beat us last night by a score of 4-1 or 5-1. It was a huge win, as I'm told. I can't wait for tonight's game too. I will be there. There's nothing better than going to a hockey game and getting a cold beer. Why? Because it's so cold inside, it stays cold the whole time. Then you get some popcorn mixed in with it. Folks, I want to tell you something beautiful. If you haven't tried it yet, I think you should go try it. What are we going to talk about in this show, though? It's easy. We're going to talk about something that happened seven months ago. The year of XRP is 2025, so it's January 1st, 2025. Take note of what I say we're going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you where XRP will go in price. Take a deep breath before you curse my name. That doesn't mean XRP won't move this year. It has nothing to do with that. The new all-time high will happen in 2025. A value of XRP in the double digits is something that might happen in 2025. We are talking about how XRP will change our lives in 2025. So don't wait any longer. Sit back and take it easy. Let's get right to it. $63,571 in Bitcoin. It's up 3.5% right now and over 47% in the last 90 days. Ethereum is worth 3124 It's up 2.42% today and over 34% in the last 90 days. Each of the USDT and USDC is tied to a strong dollar. The exact place where we want them to be is XRP. It costs 53 cents. Oh, I see. It's only gone up 4% in the last 90 days and 2.5% in the last 24 hours. I see it. We all knew what we were getting into when we signed up. It's no secret that XRP moves very slowly and quickly when it does. It's not a secret. It will happen in 2025. There will be a new high point. $2,375 billion is the total value of all cryptocurrencies. I don't want to keep telling you this, but more and more of them keep selling every time I do. They're going to leave. They're going to run out. You won't get this famous level. These are really hot. People want these. Get yours right now if you want to give back XRP every month. Brad Garlinghouse and his friend Mike Arrington were at XRP Las Vegas last night. I saw them. It looks like Mike Arrington is really, really skinny. You had them on stage and had a little campfire chat with them where you talked about things like, Everything, the current state of things, politics, crypto elections, and more. It's great to see both of these people go to XRP Las Vegas, which is an event put on by the community. From what Whalefoot has heard, Ripple has set aside 200 million of the 1 billion XRP that was released in May for its monthly sale. We know this now, right? They get a certain number of tokens every month that don't go back to storage. They sell them. They are added to the total amount of XRP that is in circulation. I know you don't believe me. You believe it's not true. Go look at how much XRP is worth on the market as a whole in 2020 and 2021. Take a look at the amount of coins in circulation that's going up over time. You can even go back to January if you want to. They said that on Ripple. The 200 million that Ripple gets and sells on the market doesn't change the price, though, according to the company. On the other hand, um, I totally disagree. If 200 million XRP are being sold on the market, then another 200 million XRP need to be bought on the market to cancel out the sell order. Does it change the price? I think it does. In other words, how much do we really talk? I'm not sure. There aren't even 200 million XRP that are stopping it from being a dollar. A sell, on the other hand, needs to be met by a buy. I mean, it's really just simple math right there. This movie was the first thing I showed you that day. In this video, Michael Saylor talks about how Ripple, Solana, Cardano, and BNB will all be safe. I told you he was stupid. He is. This is added by Bill Morgan. He goes, as if he doesn't know the difference between Ripple, a business, and XRP, a token, and thinks that XRP will be seen as a security by anyone. Once a judge said that XRP is not an investment in and of itself. Is it safe to believe what he says about Bitcoin? He doesn't like the crypto environment as much as Gary Gensler does. You're right, he is too. Why is he there? For the simple reason that the man has billions and billions of dollars invested in Bitcoin. He wants to make you scared. People like Bitcoin Maxis and Michael Saylor Maxis, who don't know anything about crypto, are going to listen and do what he says. He is talking about his book. That easy. What do you need him to say? 
That's what he wants you to do with your money. That's the reason you put your money in Bitcoin. When more money comes in, so the more Bitcoin costs, the better. That's how easy it is. Do not forget that these places are seen by everyone. The other week, everyone was so scared. Okay, then. Sell in a panic. It's done. The run of the bulls. The story was going around on Twitter, as you saw. The bull comes over. Bitcoin is not going to fall apart. I am going. I'll come back in four years. It's all just blah. Do you hear me? I haven't made a dime or sold anything. Since 2017, I haven't made any money in crypto. During this bull run, run, we're just getting started. I haven't made any money. There have been times when some of my bags went up 40% and then came back down 50%. It's fine. I'm here for the whole bull cycle. There will be perks for me in 2025 when the cycle ends. It's not my goal to time these markets and make 40% in a short time. I'm here for the 400, not the 200. 1,000, 50,000 XS. I'm going to get that. Not fake. He said some small resistance. We're kind of joking about it now. How do we know when a small amount of pressure is gone? It's easy. It's time for Bitcoin to break above 64.5. The number 64 was on our minds. We're down a bit. The question is whether we will break out. Don't forget that if we don't get the rise here, Bitcoin will go back down and test the $50,000 area again. It's possible that we'll see a $52,000 Bitcoin. Would I like it to go there? No, I'm ready to go. I'm ready for this market to go through the roof. But it looks like we might have to get another downward push. The markets might need more fear. Before this thing starts to move, we might need to get some more chop chop. But what do you know? It's going to happen this year. BTC is going over $100,000. It can't be stopped. What will happen when Bitcoin goes above $100,000? That means 2025 will be the year of XRP. If you didn't look at this, Monica Long, president for Ripple, will every bank use XRP? She's telling us that these trillions come into XRP. Says XRP is positioned to play a critical role in the future of the efficient value exchange and tokenization with a built-in decentralized exchange and the ability to trade NFTs on a carbon-neutral blockchain, making it a global option for banks and financial institutions. When we talk about banks and financial institutions, we're talking about all the money. When we're talking about all the money, that is something that I want to be a part of before the institutions can get their hands on it. 2025 is going to be the craziest bull run you have ever seen in your lives. Four to seven trillion, possible seven to 10 trillion. All these different institutions getting into the crypto markets, we've only seen the first wave for the Bitcoin ETF and the institutions. We just seen the Asian markets introduce their ETF. We are going to see a global movement by these institutions. And do you think, do you really deep down inside think that they are only going to be buying Bitcoin? That is just stubborn. That is not the correct answer here. The correct answer is they're going to be buying cryptos. A, have regulations. B, have use cases. Bitcoins compared to gold. It's a digital, digital store of value, right? Like gold. XRP is going to be used for the new financial system. Blockchain backer says you want a little opium. Here's your opium. Here's what we're looking at right here. RSI, stock RSI, MACD. Things are looking great. Rate, right? Things are looking great. XRP right now, you have one level to pay attention to. One, 75 cents. XRP breaks 75 cents and holds and flips 75 cents into that next bottom, local bottom resistant level. Then this thing is set to go absolutely parabolic because then we start talking about a dollar. And when a crypto moves, when it's in a dollar range compared to when it's in the cent range, D, it's a big time move. It is not just, you know, 53 and a half cents to 54 to 54.2 to 50. No, it will stop moving quickly. 2025 is what we are looking at. Egrad Crypto got to the XRP.